Новини з України спонсоровані спільним концертом капелі бандуристів Північної Америки і танцювального ансамблю «Шумка» – Торонто, Уінзер і Едмонтон. In December 2016, the Supreme Council of Ukraine voted to restrict imports of books from Russia and the Russian-occupied Crimea. From now on, the import of Russian printed products will require a special license. Ukrainian parliamentarians stressed that this is by no means a total ban on books from Russia. Only books that constitute anti-Ukrainian propaganda that is, that glorify Russian President Vladimir Putin and the so-called Russian world, Ruski Mir, or that promote separatism, will be banned. Until now, there was no legal barrier against importing such anti-Ukrainian literature, and large numbers of pro-Putin propaganda publications were being sold and distributed in Ukraine. This restriction is seen as a temporary measure and it may be lifted at the time when the Donbass region and the Crimea will be back under Ukrainian governmental control. Ukrainian authorities in the Donbass region are continuing their efforts to normalize the conditions of life for people residing in frontline areas. Recently, authorities managed to rebuild a bridge over the Siversky Donets River in the Luhansk region which had been destroyed by pro-Russian separatists in the summer of 2014. From that time, in order to reach the neighboring city across the river, the residents of Siverodonetsk and Lysychansk, located just north of the front lines, were forced tens of kilometers out of their way on a detour. The reconstruction of the bridge was partially funded by a grant from the European Union. The reopening of the bridge was a truly patriotic celebration as local residents unfurled a 70-meter-long flag of Ukraine for the occasion. In the town of Vasilkyu, near Kyiv, a group of volunteers and war veterans have undertaken a remarkable initiative. They design and create unique bas-reliefs called icons in memory of those who died fighting for the country's independence. Ikone pamiętni zahiblen za niezależność Ukrainy. These bas-reliefs symbolically depict fallen soldiers surrounded by Ukrainian cultural symbols. Each icon is unique and is dedicated to a specific soldier who died while defending Ukraine from Russian and separatist aggression in eastern Ukraine. When finished, the icons are presented to the loved ones of the fallen soldiers. This project was originally conceived by Italian sculptor of Ukrainian descent, Olena Karamushka. She created the first few bas-reliefs, then taught the volunteers how to produce them in Ukraine. It takes approximately one week to produce a single icon. The task is deeply meaningful, not only for the families of the fallen soldiers, but also for the volunteers. War veteran Artem Hasanov who had great difficulties reintegrating into society after serving on the Eastern Front, found psychological relief in this workshop, creating artworks that commemorate his fallen comrades and other fallen soldiers. So far, over 100 families of fallen soldiers have received an icon. The team of volunteers plans to organize similar workshops in other cities and towns of Ukraine with the hope of ensuring that the family of every fallen soldier will receive such an icon. I'm Tanya Stech, and this was Ukraine in the News. Canal Oden Plus Oden depart the stop in the Bell International Program. Novine z Ukrainy sponsorowane z pilnym koncertem Kapeli Banduristy Pivnicznej Ameryki i Tancjowalnego Ansamblu Szumka Toronto Windsor, the Edmonton.